Hello and welcome to episode 15 of our Temperborn Update 5 hard mode playthrough with the Folktales faction here in cycle 24 at day 17. Currently about halfway through a bad tide. And last time we started down the road of having aquatic farming, but it was not without its, uh, shall we say, challenges. And we, uh, we ended up flooding a pretty good portion of this whole area with uh, poison bad water. Got some beavers infected, but uh, healed them up pretty quickly thanks to having the herbalist and plenty of antidote available. So today we've got a couple things we want to do. Uh, we want to try and prevent the whole uh, bad water flood thing from occurring, and there's a few things we need to do to uh, solve that problem. One of them being, this is not a big enough outlet for all of the bad water to come out at once. Uh, we need to widen that, and we need to make sure that uh, this area is not quite as much of a bottleneck. If we go down to our lowest possible level, you'll see that it's actually pretty wide right here. That's not the problem, but it's all going through this little tiny area. Uh, I think that's four, four blocks wide, which, you know, it's probably okay. It's probably fine, but... Uh, yeah, we can do better. <laughs> we, we, can, we can figure some stuff out, and we can... Uh, improve things over here as well because uh, some of you have posited in the comments that uh, all the bad water coming out right here might be a little bit too much for our measly defenses and that could be overpowering stuff so we're gonna we're gonna do a couple things we're gonna try and get over here to uh, build this up a little bit so that it comes out here instead and that should help us out a little bit give the water a chance to kind of settle down more or less before it gets to this point and then also go out through our little emergency spillway. So that's on tap for today, along with continuing to work on some of the stuff over here. Streamlining, uh, getting our production set up with our bakery a little bit better. Because food-wise, we're actually looking pretty good. Got almost 900 grilled potatoes, but uh, you might notice we have one maple pastry. Just one. And that is because we don't have a lot of wheat flour and... Part of the reason we don't have wheat flour is, tell me if you've heard this before, uh, we don't have any storage for wheat. We're just pretty much loading it directly into the grist mill. There's no, there's no backlog. So uh, these guys right here don't even have anything. So we're going to need to build wheat storage. And since we have almost nothing, <laughs> we have almost nothing. In fact, we have actually nothing in here in terms of wheat flour. I'm going to go ahead and make this wheat storage since we don't have any wheat flour to speak of. So that's going to become wheat storage. This is already storage for bread. Uh, if we just have wheat in here, uh, they can store 20 wheat in the gristmill, 20 wheat flour. And the wheat flour is actually really important because it can go into both of these uh, sets of bakeries. So we have a storage for wheat flour here. I think we're just going to kind of leave this like this. I think it'll be fine. Uh, these are close enough for that not to really be that big of an issue, but we definitely want to have storage over here. We got plenty of storage for maple pastries. That's looking okay as well. So just to come back over here with our uh, industrial area, uh, a couple people commented, for the love of God, please um, prioritize all the things in the industrial district by haulers. Um, most of them, not all of them, but I had thought most of them were, and it, it seems that's not the case. Just the gears and the wood workshop and the smelter and the explosives factory, but not the centrifuge. Yeah, we just want to make sure we're taking care of all of this. Looks good. There we go. This one is currently paused, but that's marked, that's marked, and that's marked. So, should solve a lot of our problems once we have enough beavers to actually, you know, uh, haul things around. And I, I know this is small, this is a very small area for aquatic farming, but... Uh, I figured it would probably be smart to start small, uh, given some of our challenges with how this stuff works. So I, I did say we we're going to grow Spatterdock, and the cattails would come later because they pretty much only serve uh, to be fodder for the cattail crackers, which I'm not really that concerned with. Spatterdock, however, is much more useful, as we've discussed, and some of you have uh, reminded me of in the comments, for stuff like biofuel. So we'll we're going to expand this at some point, but right now, probably not. We just have to make sure we're taking care of what we need to take care of. And also, 
uh, like yesterday's episode on the Iron Teeth, uh, well-being is not where it needs to be. It needs to be a lot higher than 14 right now, 24 cycles in. So there's a little bit of that kind of stuff we can do. We can uh, maybe start looking into monuments and other fun things to raise those scores up. Uh, but part of the problem that we had is we kind of have all the housing spread out everywhere. We've got a cluster here, we've got a cluster here, and then I have a little cluster here. And then, for some reason, this is still here. I don't think we're going to keep this here, but I, I didn't have any reason to get rid of it, so I just kind of left it there. So why don't we... Uh, one of the first things we do... I, I want to make sure I don't forget the other stuff that I said we're going to take care of. But let's see if we can put a monument up here. We have science. So let's unlock our farmer monument. And can I get this in a spot where it's going to hit all of these? Um, yeah, it looks like it, actually. If I can put it right on top of one of these... I know it's not the most beautiful thing ever, but when did I say this was an aesthetic-based playthrough, huh? It's uh, we're just we're just trying to survive out here. Times are uh, times are a little rough for for our beavers. Yeah, so it's gonna have to go over here. That's not gonna work. Yeah, if we wanted to hit all of these at once, um, oh, it actually won't. It actually can't hit all of these. So you know what? We're not gonna worry about it. We're gonna put it in a slightly better spot just a little bit maybe right about here actually if we could have them overlooking the farm fields that might be a smarter idea yeah here is going to actually uh yeah it's going to actually you know hit something hit all of these guys so if i put him there yes unlock please thank you and then we can actually put a second one up here somewhere if we so chose because we need to be building some additional housing as well, so let's not uh, let's not get too carried away with too much too quickly. They'll be able to take care of that. Should not be a problem, and we will keep on keeping on. So uh, that being said, please do not crash. Thank you. Yes, let's get to work on widening this. Uh, as this is currently open, I don't have to worry about losing any quality water. So we have uh, it needs to be too wide. We don't have any extract currently uh, because I think we are going through it too quickly. But uh, I'm going to blow all of this up, make this whole thing five wide. And then we're going to need to uh, get this blasted out a little bit as well. Just a touch. Should be able to handle uh, the rest of that just fine. Yeah, so we need to go ahead and get some extract. Uh, I think part of the reason we weren't having a whole lot of extract being made is these guys were just uh, running around doing too much stuff. So let's uh, speed up time a little bit. Uh, I can run this at three times speed, but the frame rate's going to be pretty low. And uh, yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd rather not. <clears throat> so, well, hopefully the audio is better <laughs> in this episode than the uh, the one I put out yesterday. Again, I, if you're not aware, I'm on the road uh, recording very far away from home uh, without my ideal equipment or uh, recording environment, but we're making it work, uh, keeping the content flowing until the end of the year, which is not that far away. But uh, I, I think I've solved most of the audio problems. It's always a, always a challenge taking care of some of that other stuff, but should be okay. So as they get antidote, antidote, <laughs> the extract going, uh, we'll have them put these guys in blow that up, and then have everything in place. We are not going to need to redo our stream gauges because uh, this one is set to uh, this guy. So when I put more uh, more floodgates in here, it'll just automatically take care of it. And there will be no problems, hopefully. So let's take stock again where we are. Uh, we, we need more farm space, which is one of the reasons why I am attempting to uh, take care of some of this other stuff first. Because we're going to need more farm space so we can grow more crops so we can have more beavers so we can do more stuff. It just always kind of tends to work out that way. So one of the things I was thinking about doing is kind of uh, blasting this cliffside back a little bit because we have all of the space irrigated. Uh, in my misplaced zeal for the new irrigation mechanics, I built them up against the side of a cliff. And, you know, that's fine, but uh, there's a lot of potential space we're kind of wasting here. So I figured... It would be smart, because we could gain a really, really good amount of space by just blasting this cliff clear up to uh, up to here. 
So for us to be able to take advantage of this, we're going to have to come in here with uh, some ladders and all of that fun stuff. But there's no rule that says we can't preload our dynamite to where they can just access it whenever they have the ability. So that will take care of all of the low-hanging fruit. Uh, as it were, here, 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 here. I don't think... Well, actually, yeah, we can we can fit that one. Yeah, this is the uh, the riveting content you crave. I know, uh, but we'll uh, we'll get we'll get these things kind of uh, kind of sorted out here. Come in with a nice set of ladders. You know we do love our ladders here. Um, actually, you know what? You know what? I don't even have to have ladders because I could just use stairs. They can already uh, they can already get to some of this stuff. That's what I'm talking about. Make use of what you have when you have it. All right. So look, we've already we've already gained some space. Isn't science wonderful? There we go. Carrots here, carrots there. We do have a, a nice amount of carrots, but uh, we're gonna want to make sure we keep scaling that up. Potatoes uh, probably are not gonna be a problem, judging by how this stuff is set up. Uh, we were thinking we we're gonna need to put these irrigation barriers in, but. It, uh, it hasn't infected the water because the flow has been such that it's not been an issue. Have we uh, got anything going on over here? We sure do. All right, that was risky. I'm glad I didn't uh, murder any beavers doing that. But that's looking okay. Yeah, we, we got to build some more. Got to build some more housing here. That I think uh, we have up here. Yeah, chestnuts, potatoes, potatoes. Uh, I moved those away from here so we could grow some more crops. So that's looking fine. We have so much water, so that's that's very good to see that. These guys are going to continue and continue and continue. And as soon as they put this guy all the way in, I'm going to put a staircase here so they can uh, get past. But if, if I have a staircase in this block, they can't can't put this dynamite in place. So that's why that has not been changed yet. All right, we have a bunch of sunflowers here. Uh, we don't have, I mean, I guess we have 100 sunflower seeds stored up, but that has not really been that big of a problem. Uh, can't forget to plant the wheat. We'll see what the demand ends up looking like for the different foods as we expand the population, because we definitely, definitely need to have more wheat. Uh, I think this area should be able to take care of that pretty well once this is all, uh, all blasted away. But that's going to be one of those things we have to stay on top of. Make sure we're doing everything as best as we can. Sunflowers up here probably aren't going to aren't going to stay. I don't know. We'll see. We got some time. The big question now. Wow! As we have this farmer monument, how much is that going to affect well-being? Because I see it's already averaged up to 18. Uh, yeah, plus 2.5. Yeah, I'd love to see that. Uh, the Brazier of Bonding, I believe we can also research, uh, takes planks. We're not making enough planks to build this quite yet. Uh, but we will get there at some point, hopefully soon. Hopefully. Hopefully soon. So this is... D oh, you know what I should have done? You know what I should have done is I should have... You know what? I'm going to... Uh, I'm just going to do one of these numbers. Yeah, double floodgate... Might as well just put this in place while we can. Alright, otherwise, uh, let's see, we've got dirt out the wazoo. We have tons of dirt. We, we really should be terraforming. We should be adding dirt instead of taking it away with explosions uh, for some of this. But I think, um, yeah, we, we pretty much did everything I wanted to do here. I guess just to give the builders something to do and to use some of that dirt, we can go ahead and... Hold on, did I do this wrong? Yes, I absolutely did. Uh, we can just kind of square that off like we were originally uh, planning to do. That should work out okay. We already have that piece in place. So let's come in with our other double dynamite. We'll just go ahead and prioritize this uh, to make sure that's taken care of. 
This is already here. So that gives us a little bit more space to decompress the water. Not that we had folded it in the first place. But having, uh, having adequate, uh, I guess, exit room is always a nice thing. And I think since we have this little uh, diversion channel, not going to be the end of the world. But uh, remember, I did say I wanted to have this uh, able to be uh, built up a little bit. So in order for that to happen, we got to get some beavers up here to build. Uh, I don't really have good access up here. It's probably... Oh, that's so far. That's so far. We probably don't want to do that. But I'm so scared of putting them through the bad water here. That's uh, probably not a smart idea. So maybe perhaps against my better judgment, I might might go ahead, depending on how this is set up. I'm not going to worry about having the, uh, the wood saved because, I mean, look, we have so many, so many oak trees. They are marked for cutting. We did fix that last time. That was one of the things that we were struggling with. Uh, but I'm just, I'm not going to worry about saving these. They're mostly pines, I think. Yes. So that's going to go away. We're going to just demolishment all of these all these guys here. Maybe no, maybe not. Maybe not. You know, my favorite thing to do in these videos, and this is sarcasm, by the way, is to uh, is to just completely do stupid things that I said I wasn't going to do. You know how it goes. You know all too well how this goes. Uh, in case you're wondering why there's some other things uh, in here that we don't normally see in this playthrough, it's because I installed mods one time on the laptop, and that's everything I'm using for both uh, both series that we are running until I can get back home sometime in the next couple of uh, days of the new year. So uh, you're going to see some extra stuff. We're not going to use it. Don't worry. That's just why that is there. So staircase here. Um, this actually... Actually, well, I'll put the ladder on uh, on that side. That'll let them get down there. So the reason I'm doing that is so they can get down here to get these trees out of here. And then we'll get everything all hooked up with a wall here. And I think the way this is set up, I don't need to worry about blasting this out. It should just automatically overflow. But we uh, again, we want to have the water come out here and not here because that can very easily flood. And we're going to want to raise this wall and maybe these floodgates too. We just I, I want to prevent whatever happened here from happening again because that was a huge pain. Really was a not a good time. All right, so staircase here. That should allow us to at least do a lot of this kind of stuff. And that's done. I bet you can't guess what's going here. That's right, it's carrots. Carrots, carrots, carrots. These guys actually can't really, they can't reach that from anywhere, huh? Well, I guess, yeah, I don't have any, uh, I don't have any paths going that way. I could, I could very easily come over here. Now that our bad water uh, outlets are capped, I could easily do that. And uh, if I levied this off, we could actually flood this but I don't think we want to mess with that quite yet. Not quite yet. I don't really know what I was attempting to do here, honestly. But I uh, I need to get I need to get the rest of this stuff detonated. Oh, why did I do this to myself? I set myself up for failure here. Excuse me. We got to get a I guess I guess I'll just do the boring platform thing. No reason not to. I already had that going down to that way, so we might as well. Might as well just build platforms all the way to the corner here. Why are you building here instead of here? Well, because we want to make sure we can access all of this, and that's going to help us get there. So that will be fine. I imagine at some point we'll end up building over this anyway, but for right now, for right now, that's going to work well enough, even if it is a wasteful. Uh, use of resources. We're, we're probably going to be platforming over this, so don't get too worked up about it. Everything over here continues to go, hopefully, pretty well. 
Guess we'll find out. That is all done. And let's put our double floodgate in here. And that will really help us get the water out when we need it to get out. So that's going to be nice. Uh, down here we have our triple dynamites. Uh, we have plenty of explosives. We don't have the uh, extract, so we're continuing to work on that. Uh, spatter dock, we should sometime in the next couple days see that start to pop up. Unless these are all at 53. That was a ribbit. Why are we Why are we thirsty? Uh, there's many of you in the comments who insist 18 hours is way too many hours in a workday for the beavers, but they manage to get stuff done. So I guess that's okay. Alright, so this is... Yeah, I'm making good progress here. I know we're just adding more carrots at this point. So it's not, not the most ideal scenario, but every little bit counts. That's how it works. Plant some more wheat here. This is going to take them forever to get around to all of this. So we'll just have to uh, just have to let it go as it goes. And they can't reach that, so let's give them some, uh, some pathway here. That should allow them to reach all of these... And they're not going to be able to reach that because they can't get up to the next level here. So, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put some stairs in because why do something the easy way when you can do it the very frustrating hard way? That's not all bad news, though. All right, that's looking pretty decent, pretty okay. Yeah, our wheat numbers have not gone up very much, which is why I, I really want to get this done. Plant more wheat. Oh, just make a farm somewhere else. Yeah, well, yeah, okay, we probably need to do that too. But uh, I do want to try and keep the wheat as close to the uh, actual stuff that uses wheat as possible. So actually, you know, what I probably should do is I probably should replace these sunflowers with wheat and just move the sunflowers completely somewhere else. Because in the vanilla game, there's not really any reason to have the sunflowers except to get the well-being points. Uh, the modded ones, the stuff we don't have installed, like the packing plant, uh, requires the sunflower seeds to make the uh, the beaver bento, the big uh, fancy thing. But yeah, Grilled Spatter Dog is going to get us a couple of these well-being points. Cat tail crackers as well, once we get there. Uh, but I think for right now, the infrastructure we have available is not really going to be too kind to us if we have uh, the cattail crackers come in and be a part of all of that fun. So we will just leave that be for the time being. Plant my final carrot here, and then I suppose, since we're already here, might as well plant that up as a uh, couple of sunflowers. Now, what I uh, probably should have already checked is that these are all 3x3s that I've blasted out. Just something that came to mind. wanted to make sure that I was uh, good to go on that. I mean, this is about as close as that's going to get, so that's fine. Yeah, I believe we're looking uh, looking pretty okay on that. These are ready here. And we will plant those as sunflowers. That double dynamite is going to get planted, uh, well, once this is all in place. Oh, that was wheat storage. Well, guess what? Not anymore. That is no longer wheat storage. We're going to have all of this stuff set up, hopefully. Hopefully take care of everything. If I have... Oh, this is going to be three and then two. Okay, well, that there goes my plan. I was, I was going to do three and then one so I could just walk in from below and do it, but... It doesn't seem like they want to let me do that, so we will leave that be. Our average well-being is up to 19, if we take a look at that, uh, obviously because of our farm and monument. And there's only 30 that aren't getting it, at least not right now. So that's kind of cool. We have plenty of water up here. Don't think we need to be worrying too much about that. But I do want to leave space up here for one more giant tank. Uh, which means we're going to have a little bit of storage. I can put two little small ones up here. And I'm going to make that storage for some grilled potatoes and then the other food that we have plenty of that's actually good, which is bread. want to make sure we have a nice uh, little 
secondary repository of that stuff going on. And then, of course, we can put another tank on top of that. We're not there quite yet, though. So don't worry. What I'm going to do instead up here is I'm going to take... Um, you know what? I thought I was going to... Uh, Ah, no, you know what? That's 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 not going to be a problem. I, I'm going to blow this up, and then I'm going to put another one of these uh, triple lodges there. That should, hopefully, work nicely in our favor. And look, we have our five-wide double floodgate. That's looking good. Uh, this is now ready. I really should have uh, really should have gotten rid of this earlier, but you know how it goes. So now we can actually get down here. I can start building our levees in place here and then uh, maybe well, I can get rid of the trees on the inside just because I'm going to hate looking at those but maybe we could have them actually you know cut these down I know I know I know I said I wasn't going to do it but guess what sometimes plans change sometimes you just have to do the dumb thing for no other reason than to just have done the dumb thing. I know that probably doesn't make sense. You know how it goes. Um, I was going to try and expand our gravity battery stuff, but honestly, the, the power usage we have right now isn't uh, isn't really posing any problems. We have the uh, smart power mod, so we can see our batteries charge right here, and that's cumulative. Of, it's not really cumulative total, I guess. Accrued value of 104,000. Because we're making much more than we're using, we're not really, uh, we're not really supercharging our industrials over here. We have plenty more things we could be doing, uh, along with maybe putting in a carousel or a couple of other fun things like that. It's all stuff that comes in due time. I've been a little, uh, a little scatterbrained with some of this. Please do not crash the game. Thank you. Yeah, I've been a little little bit scatterbrained as of late with uh, some of this Timberborn stuff. But uh, we are going to attempt to do our best. That's about all you can ask for, really. The biggest challenge is going to be putting our uh, putting our dynamite on these, uh, these two right here. I think what we're going to have to do, I know... Uh, I know we're going to blow that up, but uh, this is probably going to have to be probably going to have to be a little pair of ladders that we will go ahead and get rid of uh, just so I can get this taken care of here. This space right here, this is, I believe, three blocks tall. Is that... Oh, no, it's four. Oh, yikes. <laughs> that's going to be... Uh, that's going to be fun. I guess we'll have to do this in in chunks here. They're going to be able to get to here just fine. Uh, but this bit right here, we're going to have to do before we do anything else, these three. Because they're not going to be able to get to it otherwise. You know, fun ways to fill time, you know. Just casually spend half an hour doing stupid blowing up of cliffs. Well, sometimes that's just what you have to do. And you work with what you got. So we got two days left in the bad tide. We are not quite out of water. Uh, most importantly, our aquatic farm is still uh, ready to go. Looking good. We've got these things all approaching about 70% growth. Pretty much in exactly that uh, order I was clicking on them, so that's fine. Uh, this thing has still got a little bit of bad water in it. We want to make sure we don't put any more uh, bad water in there. Obviously, we had uh, this fun thing set up as well. Uh, a couple of you pointed out that we did not have this connected here. So I will put that staircase back in just so we can have that complete. But I think now, especially once we have this all taken care of, uh, I think we're going to be in some pretty nice shape. Obviously, the rest of this is going to become a problem if we can't get uh, can't get all these trees taken out. Uh, because I'm so smart, I didn't even build a didn't even build a lumberjack here to get rid of them. Oh, you know how it goes. You know exactly how it goes. So we got potatoes up here that can't even be harvested because we don't have enough uh, going on to get rid of them. So just keep on plugging away. 
keep on plugging away. And these guys are going to have to, oh, this is going to be a pain. <laughs> going to have to, uh, going to have to come in from above on this. Yeah, just so I could have all of this stuff taken care of, huh? Would you believe that I have had some people in the comments say that I use explosives too much? I absolutely would believe it because I, I, I really do. But it also allows us to make these really, uh, really nice wide flat areas. Might be against the spirit of the game in some of your opinions, but I do, uh, I do like that kind of thing. So that is a okay. All right, so that get put back here. This, this whole thing's a process, so I know I know it's slow. We're not making quite as much progress as we normally do in these videos, but it's going to be well worth it. We're going to be in good shape heading into the next one, and we should be able to feel pretty good about our accomplishments for today. All right, so bring in the triple lodge once again. Pop that guy right there. We'll put our decorative roofing piece on top as we always do and that's gonna be a nice addition get us nine more beavers places to live that will give us uh, slots for a further ten that have not yet been born and you know nice little uh, little cliffside beaver community the envy of uh, nosy neighbors everywhere everything up here is still kind of shuttered because well you know bad tides but we do have scrap metal that we can get access to once we uh, undemolish the stairs. <laughs> We're holding all this in place. That'll, that'll be a thing for later. Once we have all the rest of this taken care of. Uh, so let's get this lumberjack flag going here. We've got one day left in our bad tide. Um, we've got probably enough time to get through the next temperate cycle depending on how many days it is if it's a short one then yeah absolutely if it's a long one maybe maybe we find out next time what the the next bad uh, bad tide or uh, drought is going to be we'll see what happens i know i want to increase the storage capacity of our reservoir but honestly it's been fine uh, we have a lot of water stored up we haven't pumped it dry yet and this was pretty much I, it wasn't the longest bad tide you can get. It's like, what? what is it, 21 days? So you know it's possible for us to actually completely deplete this because we've done it before. But we should feel pretty good about where we are with the amount of beavers that we have, even though they are increasing in number. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, come get the rubble. And then we'll put the rest of this in. And three more tiles of wheat. Over time makes a little bit of a difference. We do have 17 that have not been ground into flour. And after all that time, we're finally about to be able to put the stairs in place uh, to get us up here to put our dynamite here and here. And then I have to figure out some way of getting the, uh, getting the beavers down here, which is uh, going to be all sorts of fun. Honestly, it's almost certainly just going to be ladders. Because why not? Because I I want to blast most of this out too, so we uh, we can't forget that we want to be able to have access to all this. And actually, do I have I, the extract? Is the problem? I really should have a second centrifuge, but I for whatever reason just have not made that a priority yet. Right, so that is going to go as well. We got our nether double here. And then I'm going to go ahead and just do these two because they can walk around it. Make our little bits and pieces. Now we have the space for some additional beavers. They should fill that up probably pretty quickly. And, you know, I didn't, uh, I didn't think we were going to almost max out our plank storage. So maybe, oh yeah, we can build a brazier of bonding. Yeah, let's do that. Let's find us a nice spot for that. If I put this here, oh, it's almost going to reach. Because this has such a bigger area of, uh, of influence. Yeah, if I put this guy right here, he's actually going to be able to uh, get at everything. So let's take a look. What does this look like? I want it to make sure we're facing 
the uh, right direction. Oh, look at that. I, I love this one. Little uh, beaver with the little baby beavers. And then on the edge here, we can put some area of effect things that are slightly smaller in radius. Uh, so we've got lanterns. We've got ha I haven't even done hammocks. Oh, that doesn't have any benefit. It's just like a decorative thing. Um, beaver statue might actually be a good one. This is a pretty important uh, tile for us to go through. Uh, that's planks and 500 science. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. We'll we'll just load them up with the uh, the statues and the symbolism and everything right here. That's fine. But all right, there we go. Cycle 25. Hopefully that sound isn't too loud in this uh, this video. I have not completely duplicated my sound settings from the other setup. All right, making progress here. Ever so slowly. Continue popping these things in. Uh, they can actually reach this now. So that's exciting. They'll be able to pop in here. Uh, grab that. I know I need to automate this. I know I need to do it. But uh, for the time being, I don't really feel like messing with that too much. I probably shouldn't have opened this, honestly. Because now, now, now it's going to want to drain this out. And we want the uh, want the bad water to get uh, shunted out all the way. So, actually, if we just want this to, uh, we just want this to just come all the way out here. I can just dam this up right now. Oh, I need to make sure this guy doesn't come down here when the bad water flows. So I'm not going to close this one up. In fact, I'm not going to close either of them up. We're just gonna, we're just going to let it go. Just going to let it go. And then I believe there's nothing else on the other side here. Yep, you are correct. And by you, I mean me. Talking to yourself is normal, right? Don't answer that question. All right, so now that's coming back through again, looking nice. We still have plenty of water down here, which is why I'm not super worried about expediting the clean coming down. I just want to make sure we get everything as done as we possibly can before it's too late. And that's going to get us another four spots to plant some wheat. Make sure this guy can still reach over there, and it looks like that whole area is still covered. We probably will put another one here. Uh, another one being another farmhouse. Just got to be able to get there, and they can still get to that, no problem. So let's detonate that. Little bits and pieces. You know how it works. Now to get over here, I'm not going to come this far this way. Well, one, they can't reach it. But if I have this be a double, this be a triple, that be a triple, and I start working my way out from the corner, then this I should be able to do. To, um, no, you know, I could do triples and just have them come up from the bottom with the singles. That would probably be the most uh, sensical way to do it. So we'll just do... We'll just do that little bit like that. They already have so much more to deal with. Probably shouldn't be... Uh... There we go, up to an average of 20. Did we finish our brazier of bonding? We sure did. 21, very nice. That should continue to go up. 22. Yep, you got it. You got it. Now, let me see. There we go. Yeah, this is going to uh, continue flowing nicely until, uh, oh, all the water went away. Okay, well, problem solved. Uh, I guess, oh, I, that's right, I automated this. We're good. We're good. I was about to stress out about that. Why are we, th why are we so thirsty over here? There's water right there. Come on. Let's get it done. Get it done, folks. Let's go. So we should be seeing this come around the mountain here. Ah, yeah, it's flushing out the last of the bad right there. All right, that's okay. That's okay. It'll slam shut once again uh, as soon as it reaches. Wow, it's up to 24 already. I mean, I knew the... Uh, oh, okay, that's a plus 5. That's why. Very nice. Very nice. That's going to be a big help. Let's check out how this is looking here. Okay. 
And I know they're going to probably prioritize these explosives next. But now that we actually have... Oh, I should have done this first. Uh, now that we actually have the space and the uh, wherewithal to get over here, let's prioritize... Let's prioritize this. Uh, Spatterdock, have we actually harvested any yet? No, we're at 95%. So, uh, grills should be on standby for that. I don't have any currently. Um, oh, this is going to be super ugly. Are you guys, are you guys going to get mad if I build a, if I build some grills on top of this? I don't know. I, I kind of don't want to do that. I think that's going to look really bad. Um, so what if, uh, what if I just put some somewhere? Oh, there's a, there's a tiny bit of nasty that came through here. Okay. I really need to, uh, I really need to raise this up because so now there is some, uh, some pretty gross stuff in the water here. Yep, that'll be a project for next episode. I am sure of that. But um, the good news is our little diversion area seems to have solved some of those problems. Yeah, let's just make sure we get this taken care of first so we can uh, have our extra capacity. Really, really should have done this earlier. But you know how it goes. We got so much else going on. Sometimes it's kind of hard to keep track. Oh my god, you know what I... <laughs> of course I can't. Of course I can't build this here. Oh man, alright. Well, I should have maybe... Um, I should have maybe done this one done this one first. Uh, let's put our little... <laughs> our platform here. So they can build the other half of the bridge. This has been like that for this whole episode. Oh boy, that is... Uh, yep. <laughs> that is definitely a me moment. All right, so we got clean water. Uh, this is still going to be a little contaminated, but it's going to be diluted, and because of the changes they made most recently, well, I guess at this point it's like uh, three weeks ago to the whole irrigation process, uh, it's not actually going to kill anything. It's not going to contaminate any beavers. Oh, but this is flooded. This is uh, This is definitely flooded. So this is all the way up. But this is also all the way... Did I not have this connected to a stream gauge? No, I do. Okay. Uh, contamination low threshold is... Oh, okay. This needs to be... This needs to be set to one now that the uh, the stuff has been changed. So it can't open at all. There we go. Because, I, I mean, it's not bad that this floods with good water, but I don't, I don't want it to be flooding. Do not want it to be flooding at all. Yeah, so let's get this... Uh, let's get this extract in here, boys. Let's go. We got some stuff to uh, take care of here. I don't want it to be delayed because of flooding. Oh no, this is going to... Uh... Please don't tell me this is contaminated enough to make beavers sick. I can't really tell visually because it's nighttime. I don't want it to kill my crops. I don't, I don't think it will. I think this is probably okay. Probably okay, but oh man, I definitely... Uh... Oh, I definitely should have should have connected this. Well, you live and you learn. The good news is we have Spatterdock being harvested. We have uh, 24 of it, actually. We don't have anywhere to store it because I was um, not exactly the smartest in uh, in dealing with this. Why did, why did the well-being go up when I flooded things? That doesn't make any sense. All right, come on, get this stuff in here, because I, I know we're not going to have very much time left at all. Are we going to get our warning? No? Okay, all right, so we have another day. Yeah, come over here and finish this triple dynamite. Let's get this going. We have plenty of stuff to take care of. All right, that's done. Uh, we don't have... Why is it still going up? I shouldn't be complaining, I'm just confused. We haven't uh, we haven't grilled spatterdock yet. I haven't even built grills to handle the spatterdock, so it really should not be uh, really should not be anything that we're uh, we're really messing with here. These uh, two are doing potatoes. That's fine. We have tons of potatoes. Tons of need for potatoes. Um, wait, they're not harvesting these uh, these potatoes. I guess they're too far away. I need to grill some spatter dock. So I think I'm just going to have to bite the bullet, build some ugly grills right here 
for the purpose of grilling Spatterdock. And, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll have two for Spatterdock. That's fine. Just get those hooked up there. And then I guess, I guess because of how this is set up, I might as well just put our, uh, our ladder right here. Make sure it's accessible, connectable, etc. Hopefully they can uh, make good use of that. These are all ready to go. Make sure there's no beavers there. Get a little bit more water stored. Just a touch. Just a touch. So get this nice and filled up. Uh, cannot forget to close this gate. Again, I need to automate it. I know. I know. I'm sure there there will be those of you who remind me in the comments, and I appreciate that, but I probably am still going to not uh, want to mess with it too much right now until we get everything else figured out. So that's good to go. Now the last bit, uh, this is... Did we decide this is four tall? I think we did, and I'm just inept. Yes, four tall. So this one is not going to be reachable from here or here. So that needs to go down first, and then the rest of this. Uh, obviously, we have other fun stuff to deal with here. One piece at a time. And then, of course, uh, I will go ahead and just blast this around so we have a, a passage uh, through here, but that's not going to be the biggest of priorities. How is all this looking still flooded? Yep, absolutely no surprise there. Um, you are out of things to cut, so be free. Go do literally anything else. And we will just go ahead and block this off. And that's not going to completely stop it from coming through here, but it will try to get it to come through this little gap first. And that will be very nice to have uh, on our side there, so to speak. So now, uh, should I... Oh, should I blast this out first? I probably should, honestly. Probably should. I've got unemployed beavers. I really need to have another hauling post. Uh, probably. This is already full. And I have another one over here. All right, yeah, here it is. So we have 20 haulers out of 162. That's actually not that bad. I had forgotten that <laughs> I'd forgotten that I had two of those. Uh, we are grilling Spatterdock. Uh, this is... Oh, it's flooded. Because of course it is. <laughs> oh, man. You know... Yeah, it's... Um, yeah. It's it's time. <laughs> it's... It's... Yeah. <laughs> this is... Oh, this is this is my uh Yeah. I I don't I don't have any other words for it. It's just it's just stupid. It's what it is. Let's um let's get rid of this. Bust this wide open. And then uh we can detour <laughs> so this doesn't have to kill all our spatter dog again. Oh boy. Well it happens. So we, we are gonna we are gonna wrap this one up here in just a second. Just want to try and get a couple more things accomplished. Try and make sure we can still get something done, even if it's not uh, the longest episode we've ever done or the most uh, graphically pleasing one. I actually, don't know. I, I have some of the settings turned down so it will run a little bit better on this computer. Uh, so if you notice a uh, appreciable drop in quality, please do let me know if that's something that bothers you, and I'll see if I can get it to run. A little bit better on the higher settings. I don't. Know, I, I don't typically play Timberborn too much with this computer, but uh, I think we're good to go here. That should. I know it's not going to be perfect, but that should help us out a little bit. And then immediately floods again. Um, okay. So maybe I don't. Maybe I don't want this to be open actually. And these were only ever put in here as an insurance policy since this was overflowing. So maybe... Hold on, did this uh, stabilize? Okay, looks like it did. Let's not... Um, let's not take chances here. Um, I'm going to go ahead. Is this... 
No, that's not connected anymore. Since we haven't gotten the uh, the bad, nasty stuff come in here yet, that sentence isn't even real English. Um, let's <laughs> let's go ahead and start stacking this stuff here. And I'm just going to have this go all the way across. Just like so. And then I think when that's done... I mean, I might I might just get rid of the floodgates here. I might just fill this in with levees. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think. I don't think that's going to be a, a today project. But uh, if you think I should have this thing uh, replaced with taller floodgates, let me know if you think it should be the uh, just regular levees. Let me know. Uh, also, try to timestamp <laughs> what you're... Uh, uh, what comment you're referencing because uh, I say a lot of stuff in these episodes that are about an hour long and I can't always <laughs> always remember what I do and do not ask uh, for feedback on so would greatly appreciate if you would uh, let me know timestamp to my time of asking uh, in your comment you can just type the, the time code and it'll automatically link me to it but that should help assuming assuming this does not become a bad tide in which case we'll really really want to take care of our stuff and make sure we're good to go but this is in place uh it's it's here it works it's fine i maybe should have put some here but uh it's not gonna it's not gonna make water come through here it's just gonna be visually ah yes a bad tide approaching um okay so we have three days can i can i get this done in three oh no look at my um look at my lack of uh wood here why is that a thing did I have a massive die-off? I certainly did. Uh, also, in case you noticed, we do have... Nice, up to 27. Uh, we do have the default names back uh, just for the next video or two because stupid me did not put the uh, Beard Booster name list mod back on this computer before I left my house, and the uh, the file with those names in the, in the correct format is not accessible. But it'll be back, don't worry. The uh, the Beard Booster names are coming back. Uh, the ones that are already named that way are going to stay that way until they die in the game. But uh, those will be back as soon as I'm able to have access to that again. So, we have Bad Tide coming in three days. We will see that out. We'll get to the start of the Bad Tide, and then uh, we'll see what we're able to accomplish. I just really want to see... Really want to see if I can get this, this done. I, it should help us a lot to have the divergence point be here to for backup instead of it just spilling out right here because it's very, very easy for that to have just gotten uh, into the spot we don't want it to be in. So that's looking okay. Uh, we, we clearly still need to have some more housing because uh, the 29 beaver children uh, can't really do anything until they grow up. And I think the, uh, the campfire does help with that, but... I don't really have too many of those built. We do have some nice uh, grilled potatoes here. We have bread as soon as we actually... Well, we have plenty of bread. I don't know why they haven't uh, why they haven't prioritized that yet. But that's uh, in the process of working here. I guess I can just go ahead and get that all taken care of. This is... Yeah, that's looking a lot better there. Yeah, now look at this. Look at us go here. We have a uh, well on our way to getting this taken care of. I'm going to unplant that because uh, I think I want to put a path there. But this farm can still reach. If I put a path here, I can put another farmhouse maybe here uh, once I'm able to get this all taken care of. But now I believe it's going to be a good time to put in a triple dynamite here. And we have the space here. I think this is a good spot for a triple. There we go. Little bits and pieces. In fact, I'm going to do all of that as a triple as well because I can just come in uh, on the bottom. I sure hope this is actually a triple. Yes, okay. And come in on the bottom take care of that. These are ready. So that is going to give us a little bit more storage space. Just need to make sure we keep track of everything. Um, they're, okay, good. They're, they're building this. That's working. Looking nice. Uh, I suppose I could have, I could have sent these guys to get this scrap metal, but, um, 
we do have, I mean, we don't have a ton, but we do have some. Uh, this is looking good. Uh, Food-wise, uh, it continues to improve very, very slowly. So, oh, we don't have storage for sunflower seeds. Why did I not? Why did I not do that? I have storage for grilled chestnuts. Why? I don't I don't think I need to worry about that so much. I mean, they got a little bit of space there. Potatoes, grilled potatoes, carrots, uh, raw potatoes, honestly. Uh, I guess we I guess we do have to have storage, but there's no potato growing down here. So let's turn this into uh there they are. Sunflower seed storage. We can store the raw potatoes up here where they're actually, you know, um doing something with those. Grilled potatoes and we don't need to have carrots up here. I will just make this into raw potatoes. Or ungrilled potatoes. Alright, so this is looking pretty good we'll continue doing our uh, our science here yeah now now we're gonna be in good shape got a whole lot of exploding going on but we planted some more wheat even though we haven't been able to really have that much that much wheat going on not the end of the world. This is just about done. Just have this last levy to take care of. That should work out quite nicely. I have to forget. <laughs> I have to forget that on a, a two times speed, a, a day is not 90 seconds anymore. It is substantially longer. Can I? Can I? Can I triple speed this without it completely tanking my frame rate? I'm down to 35. Well. That'll be tolerable enough for the last uh, day or two of what we got going on. Okay, this is looking nice here. Let's go ahead and plant some additional wheat there. They can still reach... Yeah, they can still reach all of this. Triple dynamite there. Guess what's going there? I bet you can't. That's right, it's wheat. And then this is looking nice here. Come on, let me click, please. Thank you. Please. All right. And then I want to, there we go. I want to get this all blown up here. This is a two by three building. So this needs to, yes, there we go. That needs to be a double. That needs to be a single, but I also have to get up there, which means I have to have, you'll never guess. You'll never ever guess. I gotta have ladders. I said you'd never guess. How'd you guess? Uh, 28. Wow. Yeah, let's see, we're, we're getting some stuff done. We're making some good progress here. I, I think at the start of the episode was, what, 14? Yeah, you take that any day of the week. Any day of the week. Would love to have that kind of improvement. All right, so progress is being made here. I can go ahead and... Yeah, I might as, might as well just go ahead and set these three out because they can still get to everything. Oh, they could do the one corner. Nice. Little bits and pieces. 0.6 days. So let's not get too far ahead of ourselves here. Uh, everything else should be set. Did they finish? That's the caps lock key, not the shift key. Um, yes, they did finish this. This is finished. That's going to be a huge help. Let's go ahead and dam this up. Uh, this is still going to be irrigated. Should not be any issues because we have that stuff in the middle. Uh, okay, we lost one, one little thing of potatoes. That's fine. This is closed up. Um, I am pausing just to make sure I can take care of the rest of this just fine. Uh, that is full don't want to completely flood everything, but uh, we do want to ride this uh, at the last possible moment. Um, was that three? It sure was. Let's, uh, let's put those back in place. All right, so the bad tide is about to start. Should be, uh, should be in good shape now. Oh, that sound is so loud. I am sorry. 
<laughs> nothing I can do about it. Not right now, at least. So this is flooding nicely. All right, and this is already flowing out the back here. That's going to be so much better. Should have the opportunity to disperse or at least calm down before it gets to here. That's nice. I'm going to... Uh, I don't see I don't want to flood my spatter dock unnecessarily. I guess when we see the bad water really start making its way over here, then I will I will shut that floodgate. I think it's just about just about there. You know, I, I honestly could I could just uh, attach it to this uh, to this stream gauge. But let's go ahead and shut that. It should fill up pretty nicely. Now that that's closed and locked, we have no no nasty here. That's opened quite nicely. Yeah, I think we can consider that to be a success. So let's just take care of a couple loose ends and then uh, yeah, we'll be we'll be all finished for today. Look at that. Look at that good progress here. Very nice. Yeah, I want to get this. Want to get this last uh, last farmhouse in place. So let's prioritize that. And yeah, we'll let them come in and do this in the uh, in the morning here. But yeah, that is just about it for today. As always, I really do appreciate you uh, watching these videos and being a very fun, uh, interactive audience. Got a lot of good stuff done today, even if it's a little slower. Maybe some, some of the settings, whatever, aren't quite right, but we make it work trying to advance our stuff as best as we can. So if you have any comments, questions, concerns, please do leave those down below in the comments. I do read all of them, even though this past week or so I haven't been able to respond to, well, hardly any of them because I've been occupied doing very good and important things like uh, visiting family out here. But uh, I, I do read them. I do make sure to read those as soon as you guys post them. So I, I do take notes, making sure that we're able to uh, keep track of everything we need to keep track of. So you're not being ignored. I just don't have the time to respond right now. But I, I am going to try and address whether it's in a video or uh, in a direct response or whatever. I, I will try to address everybody's comments, and I, I very much do appreciate the support, as well as all the Beard Boosters and everything that they do. Fantastic, fantastic folks. Cannot say thank you enough for all of, well, everything. It's been a, a really, really fun year. Uh, growing the channel has just been leaps and bounds better than I could have ever imagined. And I'm very thankful for you and all of the fantastic support once again. I don't know exactly when we'll be back to the normal schedule, quote unquote, or live streams, etc. It just depends on when I get uh, back into my normal routine with real life stuff. But I will keep you posted and I uh, hope whatever it is that you're doing you have a fun and a safe time. Uh, stay safe, have fun, and we'll see you tomorrow for the first of our, uh, I guess, I don't know exactly what I'm going to call it, colony reviews, uh, people showing off their builds or whatever. I've, I've gotten some nice submissions on that. Uh, so we'll, we'll take a look at a couple of those in tomorrow's video, and we'll be uh, continuing to look at submissions. So you still have plenty of time to uh, send those in if you haven't already. There's a link in the description, but I have rambled on quite long enough. Have a fantastic rest of your day. Stay safe, have fun, and we'll see you later. Bye-bye.